Hey guys, welcome back to the Nerd Cauldron. Welcome back to our Resident Evil playthrough. This is Brian. I'm Josh. And we're going to go back to trying to make our way through the underground, which is probably the least fun portion of this game. Well, so far it's been the portion that I've died the most from I mean, yeah. BS stuff. I don't need anything in here, do I? It's one hit kill area. Uh... No, because you've got your crank, you've got your crank, you've got the shaft, uh, the cylinder, cylinder shaft. Uh, you should be good. Are we? Um, do you remember where you got the shaft from? Vaguely. Yeah, it was over here in this, uh, no, I, you can't see me when I point at the screen. Hold on. Um, uh, the square, uh. Yeah, the, with the, the. square room with the hole in the middle of it. Is it this way? I believe so. No. I have to go back this way. Okay. Um, because you gotta put it back where you got it, now that it has the, um, cylinder part with it. Or the, yeah, the cylinder part with it. Left. Yeah. Alright. Let's see if the hunters are still over here. Probably. No! No, 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 no! Ugly frog thing. Ah, oh, shit. Barely got me. So I try to open the walls. He wants them bums. Okay. Yeah, there's only one way to go. Okay. Yup. I don't remember if we Such solved the riddle on it. Oh, okay. A convoluted way to do this. Uh oh, um, hit back, uh, hit the back button, whatever button that is, or just push a random order. Uh, pull the shaft back out of there. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. There's... Yeah, we gotta. Yeah, look at the look at the way it's set up so that we can. Uh... I thought we did that already. We did, but every time you do that, it resets it. As dumb as that is, it just takes forever. <laughs> it's the Resident Evil way. Okay. Right. Four, two, three, one. Yeah. Now we return the shaft to its home. Four. Two. Three. One. That was convoluted. I'd love the guy yeah. that just set up in here and was like, you know, we need to make a uh, codex. You already killed him. We need to do a codex. <laughs> you killed him already. That uh, crimson head in the underground. Oh, yeah. That was... <laughs> That's George Trevor. He's the one who made the mansion and everything. Uh. Okay. Jill. Barry? Thank God you're safe. You too, Jill. A noise I heard brought me down here. I didn't expect to find a place like this. Oh, sweet. Is Barry going to go with us? Have any idea as to what might be the There's only one way to find out. And you're going to be posed with a choice here. Take. What the hell is that sound? Oh wait, it might not be here. It might be a little bit further down the line. Probably a zombie, Barry. Considering everything else around here. Go check it out. You go check oh, it out. It's you're it's mean and big and strong. I'll stay here. I'll stay here and secure our escape route in case something happens. Okay. It's it's a little bigger than a zombie. <laughs> Guess not see. Yeah, it's the only way. Oh, well, is there other stuff in here I need? What else is in here? Nothing. Okay. Okay. An item box. There'll be something here later. Do I need to go down there now? Uh, I don't remember if there's any items down there or not yet. 
Well, let's take a look. But I know, I know you send an item here later. Mm. Oh, I see. <clears throat> oh, I bet I'm. <laughs> I'm guessing I'm gonna have to uh, compact something. Yep. And it's gonna be really obvious when you see what it is. It's a really weird place to have a garbage compactor. Let's put it in the bottom of the cave. Man, I don't even question Umbrella anymore. <laughs> Their design choices are suspect. I'll tell you that. Uh, like, let's make a bioweapon. That, that seems like a good idea. <laughs> and then as to test it, let's release it in the city. <laughs> that was accidental, though. Hmm. I always, th I, that, I always thought it was somewhat on purpose. I didn't know it was um, completely accidental. Yeah, that's um, that's a, actually uh -huh. explained in it. Is that Lisa? Oh, yes. shit. Yeah, you can go up there. Yeah. This whole room's a big circle, so that you can run from her. Sure, what's that? Here? Okay. So you remember how I said there's an item you're going to need later? Yeah. Yeah. That item you put there. Come on. I want to be able to keep an eye on your ugly ass. Uh, but there are a couple... Um, there's a couple other doors down here that you have to go into. Uh, oh, oh, it's, it's on a timer. Okay. Yeah, don't worry about that. You don't have to mess with that puzzle right now. Because you don't have the other item yet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So this whole, th this whole part is new, right? You said... Yes, this whole part's new. So, you, you see the white door over there on the right? Yeah, I just... It was over here, right? Uh, yeah. I just missed it when I was over there. Worried about Miss Lisa. It's such a sad story. Like, I read up a little bit on her. So sad. Yep. It's like the most umbrella shit. Oh, yeah. Umbrella or dicks. Okay, I don't know what that... Okay. Ooh, I'll take the Magnum ammo. Uh, and a battery pack. And here's a bunch of ammo that you can't use <laughs> on this enemy. Well, who says she's the only enemy down here? Oh, okay. I got it. I take this big box with me. I've seen some people struggle with this puzzle, and I'm like, how? Put box onto square-shaped place. Make square-shaped place <laughs> go to compactor, push into compactor, and push button. Okie dokie. Can I ride down with it, or do I get to run back? You have to run back. You can't make it too easy on you. I don't want to ride that damn thing anyway. <laughs> you get whiplash from that. What? Come on. No. I don't need to stare Are and watch saying... it go. Are you saying there's questionable integrity <laughs> of an item created by a company who made a bioweapon? <laughs> no. And was careless enough to cause it, uh, cause it to break out and poison the city in which their home base is? I would love to hear the HR meetings that Umbrella have to go through. Oh, just the sheer like rage <laughs> induced. No, that's where the is that. No, that's where the puzzle is. Whoop. I've been uh playing way too much of that new. Pokemon MOBA, the Pokemon Unite. Uh, I didn't... I'd never heard of that. When did that come out? Uh, it was a couple weeks ago. Uh, it's a free game. It's a free game on the Switch. Yep. Okay, bye. <laughs> Peace, bitch. Fuck you. <laughs> no, I, I didn't hear... I didn't hear that. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, it's a... It's a... It's, it's basically a dumbed-down version of League of Legends. 
I'll check it but out. I was never really into MOBAs, but I'll, I'll at least check I, it out. I never have been either, because I, I, it was always way too much to learn. But this one's simplified. So I'm like, okay, this is cool. I'll check it out. And tried it, and I was like, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I can definitely see why I can definitely see why people get addicted to these games. I know. Well, Lyric and I were playing uh, Chris Tales the other day. Uh, that was that's a pretty fun, pretty game. I like it. Hey, I I like the art style, but I do not like that art style in motion. Like Ooh, it makes it kind of upsets my stomach. <laughs> I could see that. Yeah. I can try to think of other games that have an art style like that. That I've played, but I can't I know I can't think of any. Oh, I'm guessing I put the flamethrower on the uh the hooks. Yep. So I don't even get to play with my new toy. It's a broken flamethrower, you oh, can't play broken? with it anyway. Oh, okay. Yep. Chris actually gets a proper flamethrower. Let me put the magnum ammo up. I don't need it right now. Oh, that's unfortunate. What's that? Uh, got it. I my phone popped up with a notification. I got attacked in uh, Clash Clans. Oh, I play. I used to play that game a lot. I yeah, I used to play a lot. I just couldn't remember my information for my old account. So I was like, screw it. We'll start from the beginning. There are surprisingly some pretty decent mobile games now. Like, Gesh yeah. Geshin Impact's pretty good. I play Azure, what is it, Azure Lane or Azure Lawn. That's pretty decent. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links is pretty decent. The South Park uh, deck building game is pretty fun, too. Yeah, so is the uh, Animation Throwdown game. Oh, come on. The one uh, with, like... Uh, like Family Guy, Bob's Burgers, and Futurama uh, and all that. I have to check that one out. I haven't heard of that one. Um, and they're making a Yu-Gi-Oh game that is similar to Magic the Gathering Arena. So, like, a 100% true online Yu-Gi-Oh game's coming soon. Nice. Oh, shit. I thought you had followed me already. You do a lot of damage. She I'm not going to make it back either. I'm going to have to let this reset. Nope, that's not it. Yeah, she's a bit of a pain in the ass. Come on. Come on. It doesn't speed her up any, unfortunately. <laughs> she's like, you shot me. She starts running at you oh. like freaking Sonic. I'm going to need that. Let me take that. Ow, oh, you shot me, you asshole. Because I'm not in enough pain as it is. No! Oh, God. That was an accident. That was an accident, but I'll take it. That's a happy little accident. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Most of the time I am lucky compared to good. This game will punish you for that, though. For relying on it too Shit. much. Yeah, now we go in that door. We're getting close to where we get, don't have to deal with her anymore. I'm curious to see how we're going to kill her. I don't... Killer's a strong word. Uh, Alright, that's fine. I'll put it in caution. What the... Is that just a door? It doesn't... This is creepy. Welcome to Lisa's room. This is super creepy. There was something in here we need. I just don't remember what it is. It might be the stone piece that we needed earlier. She's not going to come in here, is she? Nah. Okay. They're all dead and you, worn. You got time to look around. What the hell is that camera angle showing me? Uh, nothing. The room. Like, Resident Evil's good for that, making you think that the camera angle is... <laughs> meaningful and it's never meaningful uh. oh shit yeah there's snakes in the water no <laughs> fucking water moccasins so that's her that's her that's her route every day run through yep. water filled with snakes god yep. I'd be pissed off too 
She don't care. She don't care about these mother effing snakes. She's sick of these mother effing snakes and her mother effing cave. <laughs> yep. Uh, uh, push oh, the button. That's it. Okay. And we get the stone ring. Family picture and uh, notes. So you remember how earlier I told you to take the metal piece out of the thing? Yeah. Now is when you're supposed to take the metal piece out of the thing, combine it with the stone ring, grab our other metal and stone piece, and then we can go to the next area. So I don't have all the parts I need? <laughs> oh no, you just gotta go grab it. It's it's real quick. Okay. I would definitely heal, though. Uh, there's nothing in here. Do I, do I have to use what I got now? I guess so. She got any? Okay. Up here, I'm guessing? Yeah. You're going to be going to a very familiar place. And that's a good thing, not a bad thing. Oh, hold on. There's something back here. I need this. <laughs> Give me. Yay. Herbage. I think it's a blue herbage, too, just in case you got bit by a snake. Well, that's nice of them to actually give you something if you needed that. That's actually surprising. They're well, usually good about giving you uh, poison cures. Because it's like the the worst mechanic in a game where you're just poisoned and you can't do anything about it. <laughs> no, it's not the worst mechanic in the game. In, in any game. Um, have you heard of Curse? In Dark Souls? No. I, I never played a lot of Dark Souls. So, Curse in Dark Souls decreases your maximum HP. Shit. I know where I am. Permanently. Oh, that sucks, especially in a game like that. <laughs> like, there's a way to get rid of it, but still. And then you'll have to go get the stone metal object from the Oops. door. Oh, the one that's outside that we used to open the... Yeah. And then you go behind the stairs in the main foyer... Oh, and that's how I unlocked it. Okay. Yep. Do I need this one? No, not, not yet. Because that's what you'll be getting um, through all this. Is the wolf, You'll get the wolf medallion. And you'll need the wolf and eagle medallions later. Okay, so I got everything I need then, right? That's what I'm double checking. Yup. Okay. Are you back in here? If so, you were no. very fast. Very fast and very sneaky. I didn't think we would actually be coming back out here again. Yeah. Did I uh, think I just got turned around. I did. Son of a bitch. You did. There is a zombie out here somewhere, too. I heard him, but I don't... Uh, I think he was down here near the... Right over here near this tree. He's a tricky bastard. How? Because <laughs> this first area is just like a big open area, and it's easy to get turned around. There yeah. we go. Okay. I, was, I, I went into one of those spatial dimensions where it just... Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Me and Sam found one of those once. It just feels like I'm like, there's no way we're here, we're, where we are. <laughs> this outside area is bigger than it needs to have any intentions of being. Yep. It's just the same zombie friend. He just wants hugs. Well, he got a knife in the head. That works. Oh, it's yeah. you. That's kind of like a hug. The crows are gone now, too. Those bastards. I would like to play a game where you play as the bad guy in a Resident Evil game. That would be kind of cool. I don't think they've done uh, that, have they? They kind of have. Uh, so in Resident Evil 6, if you played some of the online stuff, one of the modes you could play is as, as the monsters. Oh, okay. And invade. And you could invade other people's games. Was it kind of like that Resident Evil game that came out that was 1v4 or 5 or something? No. Uh, so you would actually invade 
other people's campaign modes as a zombie or oh. a zombie dog. So you'd be walking around inside of their game. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And I like that. You'd, you'd be a little bit stronger than the rest of the zombies. That's really interesting. I like that idea. And then it tells them when a, when a player killed them. I, that's... Because that reminded me, and I don't know what brought it up, but it reminded me of a... One of the old... Uh... 007 games you played as a you played as a villain like trying to kill like and you killed James Bond in like the first mission and yeah. then you just play as the villain the rest of the game that was really cool there hasn't really been many of those many games like that no I think that was double O agent or something like that yeah I I wish there was more games where you played as the villain and actually played as a villain yeah not, I have the choice to be a good guy or a bad guy. No, your cho your job is to be a dick to, and s screw with people. Like that's not like that's not like Fable where you um, can play it wait, anyway. No, no, no. Go back the other way. No. Uh, it's actually faster to um, go back in. Uh, go back in the other door. <laughs> that's out here. Not through the gate. I look down for... Uh, go back. Uh, hold on. No, I'm stupid. Go in there. I was wrong. I'm so sorry. Back the way I was? Yeah, I looked th I looked away for a second. Didn't realize exactly where you were. I don't know why I thought you were on the other outside. The rat was trying... Oh, one of the rats was trying to get out of the cage, so Aww. I was paying attention to that. Jerk. They're cute though. I've I, I I've always wanted a pet rat, but we can't really have one given our animal situation. They they live in our room. We have a pet rat, or we used to have a pet rat at my old job, and it would just uh, it set on a cage and it set in a cage in our office, and we'd feed it and clean it and stuff like that. I used to just ta I used to take it out when I was working, and like it would sit on my shoulder most of the day. Yeah, <laughs> These two will do that for all, all day long if you let them. They're very cute. The only thing is, is they only live for like a year or so. Yeah, like an old like rat. Uh, domestic rats can live up to like three or four years or something like that. And we don't know how old these two are because we got them from somebody who couldn't keep them anymore. Mm -hmm. Except I already know that if we did it here, Tom would try would somehow break into the cage and kill him. <laughs> oh yeah, Tom would go for him in a heartbeat. Luna might too. She might. She stays in the bedroom now and just 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 a goblin in there. Bedroom goblin. Oh crap! I don't have any for this. Uh, uh, go down the stairs a little bit. I believe there is a oh, item box. Right I should probably save. It's been a little bit since I saved. Yeah, yeah. Saving here is good. Saving here is real good. Oh, yeah. Boss warning. Oh, then I guess I'll take my... I don't have any more shotgun shells, damn it. Don't worry about guns. You don't need guns for this boss. That is, like, the best thing that Resident Evil 4 did was add a store where you could buy ammo. <laughs> you can't buy ammo, though. You can only upgrade your guns and buy new guns. You can't? I thought you could buy ammo. Okay. No, you maybe could that not was, buy ammo. Maybe that was five, six. Yeah, it was, it was five that you could start buying ammo. Uh... I don't. I never found it. I never found it worth it because in, in those games the uh, melee was good enough that you didn't need it. Well, basically, how I started playing all the games now is where I just run by as much as I can and hoard as much as I can. <laughs> well, there's a trick to four: shoot them in the kneecap and kick them. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, Lyric and I was playing four, and I realized just it made me remember just how hard that game was. I thought I was just gonna cruise right through it, but. My memories nope. of that game is replaying it for like the third or fourth time with maxed out mm. weapons with every weapon. <laughs> and you're yep. killing everything in one hit. <clears throat> uh, I'm guessing I'm going down. What? No. That's ominous. No. Alright, let's go down here into this clearly boss area. Alive. Damn it. I I'm so happy. Start talking. Go 
calm down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't lie to me. Oof. Make your choice, Josh. What is it gonna make me do? Kill her or kill him? It's gonna decide it's gonna make you decide whether you give him his gun back or not. Don't I have the Magnum already though? This is a more powerful Magnum. Jill, hand me my gun. But I really want the Magnum. But then Barry dies. Okay, Barry, you can have your gun back. Thanks, Jill. I'm gonna shoot you in the back of the head. All right. So what you want to do is push the stone stones off the edges. Oh, okay. Barry will start shooting her to kind of get it, get her attention every now and then. And if you don't it's give him his gun, does he die or? Yeah, she kills him. Nice. Now nope, get on the stereo. And Barry's gun's pretty much the only gun that has the stopping power to knock her back. Yeah. It's a hell of a gun. Did she just take her skull? Yeah, you did. Yeah, it's mommy's skull. Remember how you said she has a sad backstory? Yeah, yeah. she does. So yeah. that's... Check, check the coffin. Yeah, it's it's stuff. it's all this stuff. Oh. Because they were testing on yeah. on Lisa and her mother. Was was that the T virus they were testing on her? Uh, or just I, testing. I, I... I think they tested the progenitor on them. Mm. Damn. Which is the, like, the basis of the T-virus. So, I think is she dead? Did she just jump off into oblivion? Again, dead's a strong word. I guess um, she can't really die. You don't see her in, again in the game. But um, if you play the Umbrella Chronicles game, it gives more backstory for her. Not a lot, but does give some. Mm. All right. Well, you're welcome, Barry. Let's just go this way, then. Yay! We didn't kill Barry. Oh. It's, it's an elevator. Does Chris have to make that same decision? Or is this only Jill? No, Chris is by himself. <laughs> you have nothing distracting you with Chris. Or <laughs> distracting her with Chris. Did we not get the wolf medallion? I don't remember ever being over here. Uh, Do we may have, the, I, but I just maybe I didn't. Have we killed the snake yet? Mm, we fought the snake that one time, but we never killed the snake. Well, shit! I just made us go ahead of 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 what we're supposed to do. Go back in there. We gotta go back to the mansion. I don't remember killing the snake. I don't think we did. I thought I didn't know that. I thought that was later uh, on. I didn't know that we had missed that. My bad, people. <laughs> it may be in the item box. Let me see. I don't think it is, though, because I don't remember killing the snake. Sorry, Bear. I'll be right back. I forgot to do half the game. <laughs> just ignore Barry and just walk on by. <laughs> I Hopefully it's something where Barry's supposed to show up, and he's like, Oh, hey, here's this thing that I'm definitely not hiding secrets from you. It's like, I just saw you down there. Um... Take a look at the map real quick. Yeah, I don't think I have that medallion. No, I think we just have the oh. eagle. Yeah, we have the eagle. All right, so go over to the um, no, the mansion. Let me see. Uh, uh, go to the basement. I think it is.
Oh no, it's up on third floor. Oh, that red door. <laughs> yeah, so we have to go get the mansion key out of the box. But you're right next to a box, so. We never did go in there. I can't believe we never did go in there. So I don't need this right now, do I? The crank? No, you don't need the crank. You don't need the crank anymore. Yeah, I was wondering why I still had that damn key. Uh, Where'd the key go? I have it right here. I was looking at other... If I needed, like, the... Uh, grenade launcher stuff. It wouldn't hurt. I think I have more... Yeah, I do have more acid shells. What do I have in here? Foul fire? Yeah. I uh, can't believe that. All the things to forget. The snake. Okay. How do we get there? Um, oh, we gotta go... The back of the second... Back left of the second floor. Okay. Yep. She's, I like how Jill's probably running around like, I swear I'm forgetting something. <laughs> something that <laughs> happened to me that I needed to take care of. Something traumatic that I'll probably never actually forget about my entire life, but I'm forgetting something. Oh shit, did I leave a crimson head over here? Yeah, you did. I, I think I, I can get by it. Ah, you bitch. Well, at least he grabbed you. Another right. Uh, yeah, it's just over here. Yeah, the spinning trap of death. Oh. No need to take that anymore? Okay, I guess I've already done that. That was the uh, an imitation key. Okay. Yep, there it goes. Discord. Discord, this key. So this is either one of the hardest or easiest fights in the game. That's you can actually win this one with just the pistol. Oh? Well, yes. I'll try. Let me see if I can win it with, the, with just the pistol. I got plenty Did of you save after? Did you save after killing Lisa? No. Okay. I think I was out of. I think I was out. I think I'm out of ink ribbons, actually. Oh. I hope shit. I'm not. I hope I'm not. I don't think I. I'm sure there's some around that I haven't picked up though. I'm sure. Run. Oh. Yep. Don't fight it up here. <laughs> you will die. Okay, I don't want the pistol. I don't trust my skills that much. I want the pistol. Okay, that. Oh, I could totally see how I could do this with a pistol. Yep. <laughs> Come here. I'm not done with you. Oh, I got him. Okay. Oh, you got him. Yeah, you can literally just right ring around the rosy and pistol <laughs> that. It takes a, it takes forever to do, but at that point, you have so many bullets anyway. Yep. All right, what'd you drop? A book. Talks about an eagle and a wolf. Might be that metal that I was talking about. There we go. Now I think we have everything we need. Yeah, okay. So now we can go back to where we were and head into the lab. That is where we are. We are at close to the end of the game. Is there any... Can I do... Okay. Now... Um, so you can go to those double doors and open them now. Oh, no. Okay. I was wrong. 
I thought you could. It's weird. Whatever. Um, there was something I was going to say. There's something else. So, no. The lab is an interesting area. If you know some of the tricks that are in there, like some of the bullshit traps that are in there. Yeah. Which I don't. It, <laughs> what you do. Um, It can be really easy to get through the lab and be done with this game. There is one annoying ass puzzle that might have you retrying a couple times. Um, and I'm not going to tell you what the problem with that puzzle is because it's funny to watch people die to it. Well, I'll either figure it out or somehow <laughs> blindly stumble by it and make no, and not even realize it. <laughs> either. Well, it's not even a, it's not even a traditional puzzle. That's the annoying part. Yeah, let's go this way. I think I have an ink ribbon over. I think I left an ink ribbon over here and then down here. What's up, crows? Hello, bird friends. How are you? Isn't there a... No, we've got all the animals here. There was some boules. Oh, and... okay. I, just, I forgot where I was. I'm gonna run over there to the typewriter box. I think uh see if there's any Well I can just go back to the downstairs. Fucking random music. Click, click, click. <laughs> you should yeah, have saved sure. less. <laughs> We sh I feel like we have I, I'm ink ribbons. I'm sure we do. My that box is all jangled up anyway. Yeah, open it. I'm not going to take them out. Sure you are. I mean, no, you're not, but... Uh, yeah. I can't believe we don't have any more ink ribbons. Uh, that's... No. No, we don't. Oh, no. Is there a safe spot once we get in the lab? Because there should be some there, right? Yeah. Well, I guess we'll keep this video going for a little bit longer. I mean, hey, that's fine with me. I think we've only hit, like, 45 minutes or so. Yeah, we're at we 40. Can... We're not. That's not that long. Yeah, we usually go for about an hour on this, so... I mean, and there's not going to be a lot of cutting on this one because so far because we haven't died. No. It probably only she'll only probably need to cut the beginning, just where we sink and stuff. Uh, sorry, Larry or Barry. I had to kill a giant snake that I forgot to do like two two parts ago. <laughs> you good? Okay. I can't believe I forgot about the fucking snake. I thought it was gonna. I, I was wondering where it was because, like, I figured we were gonna have to fight it eventually. Yeah, I just straight forgot about us. I, I, I thought we had already done it, so I was like, "Oh yeah, we've got the wolf medallion. That's cool." Well, I wonder what goes in here. The eagle medallion. Uh. Is the other one on the other side? Yes, it is. Nope. So the game GameCube version had a cheat code in this game. For what? Where you could bait, you could get infinite uh, grenade launcher ammo. Nice. <laughs> It, they called it semi unlimited because you had to have you know, like you had to redo the code in order to get more ammo. Hmm. 
What? So if you uh, fucked it up, you could um, end up running out of ammo. Well, didn't they... These games have, like, a built-in, like, if you beat it so fast, it gives you rewards and stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're not getting those. Yeah, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> we're not unlocking tofu mode anytime soon. That's only two. Oh, only is it? Only two had that. Is it? Only two had that brilliance. Storage tank. Okay. Will not open unless in first case. Okay. First class emergency. I guess then that's a escape elevator or something. Yep. Are you ready for some old friends? Some good old uh, fashioned hey, increment. <laughs> like good old fashioned zombies again. I am. I'm tired of stakes and hunters. Though I'm guessing I'm not done with the hunters. No, you're not done with hunters. Hell no. <laughs> and you get a new enemy type. Those are fun. Alrighty. Alright guys, I think we're gonna call it here. Thank you guys for joining us. I'm Brian. I'm Josh. And we've been the Nerd Cauldron. Yeah. You guys have a great day.